So you thought the shrimp tom yum hot pot flavored Lay's potato chips were cool? So did I. They're all gone. I'm gonna have to go shopping. But where do you go shopping around here, Ray? Let's go find out. Well, here's your answer. At the Big C Extra. Why extra? Well, that's because I'm a little extra. We're on our way to the second floor to do a little grocery shopping and show you some more varieties of Lay's you may be interested in. morning. How are you? Morning. Morning, sir. Kind of like Eastern Market. You just belly up to the bin and help yourself. Hello. Good morning, sir. Meat is in open bins. Very strange for those viewing back in America or Europe. As you can see, eggs are very abundant and very affordable, unlike the States, unfortunately, for those trying to feed families. Or pick out your own meat right from the bin. And over here we have our dry-aged steaks. A small tomahawk will cost you about 692 baht. You do your own math. More meat on this side. Good morning. And over here we have fresh seafood. Right from the sea to your grocer. Put right here. As you can see. Would you like a frog? You can have one right here. There you have it. Ribbit. Produce section, very much like a produce section back at home. Although I will say the most of the products are procured locally and probably have a higher rate of freshness compared to those in the States. Again, a produce section very much like you would see at home. We're going to be moving on. Right here I was amazed with this very wide selection of different types of rice. Again, very much in abundance. By volume and by variety. Oh, and work every aisle. Here we go. Found this was a very interesting. It was the various types of mushrooms and fungi, if you will. Something on this aisle I saw before that I thought was interesting. Yeah. Cocktail sauce that looks like Thousand Island. A little specialty food aisle, if you will. This 
specialty condiments, olive oils, specialty pasta sauces as well as pastas. This is a site from home. Seems to be a, a standard when I'm making chili or Italian base sauces. Some independent specialty snacks and cookies. More condiments, dressings, and there's a site from home, Heinz. And I'm guessing this particular grocer's comparable brand. Found this was interesting. Heinz, apparently a pepper bay sauce of some sort. Hot sauces, soy of all different kinds. It's quite amazing. You see like one or two brands of soy at home. Here you see dozens. This is what I found. There's a, there's a lot of choices when it comes to ramen, which I'll say I've already purchased. I've never been a ramen fan. I've been fortuitous of not to have to eat ramen on a budget because I was on a budget. But I have ate it and I find it horrible tasting. The noodles alone, without any flavoring adding, actually taste very good. And as you can see, they have a half of a vial solely dedicated to ramen. I bought this last time I was here. Very good. Hot. Just like I like things. I bought, yeah, these were, but this kind, I bought this kind, which is like a egg base that was very good. This is the one I actually bought, and I believe this one, I think it all represents hot. That was good, that was good. Have to try that one next time, and that one was good. Yeah, I bought four different packages, more specialty snacks. Wasabi flavored pretzels, stir fried seafood flavored pretzels, so on and so forth. Moving along, I should say, moving on, as they say in the film business. Cooking oils and canned tuna and chicken, I believe it is indeed. More tomato based products, can, oh, I'm sorry, salmon, canned salmon products. Rather boring, moving on, slightly interesting, but. And the liquor department, which is closed, it's Sunday, I don't know what the story is and what they're laws are but I'm gauging from the chain is there is no access. Little homewares. Again rather boring but moving on. Much like you would see at home I guess back in the States. Cleaning products. Duck. Duck seems to be the popular go-to brand of cleaning. I don't know what it it does exactly. I'm guessing that's a bathroom cleaner, obviously, with the toilet on there. Again, lots of cleaning products. Mr. Muscle, he gets the job done when it comes to cleaning in Thailand. Food again looks like various 
cleaning products. I'll just take a quick breeze down here. What the heck? If you're seriously into doing laundry, well, here's your five gallon bucket or equivalent to back in the States. It's a powdered, a powdered type. You can see there, laundry detergents and fabric softeners are very and abundant of choices. I bought one and it isn't over perfumiated, if you will. That's the word, but it smells really nice. Nothing like you would smell. I would, I would put it between like, I'll show you where it is. Here it is. This is, okay, here's Downy, very much like you would see back home, although they do have different scents. Because some may not know this, but say for Jap people in Japan, they associate the smell of lemons to a, to a bathroom cleaning product. So many, many years ago when Pledge tried pitching that, their product to be sold in Japan, they didn't do their due diligence and it failed horribly because Pledge Furniture Polish is typically smells like lemons and Japanese would be highly offended if the furniture smelt like with what's associated with a typical bathroom cleaning product. I can't find the detergent I bought. It's not like it's a big deal, but it's, it was good. Pet section, pet food. <laughs> you can make a meme off of that, eh? Isn't that the cat for that meme? It's a little bit of an older, fatter cat, but Mio for the kitties. For the cool cats and kitties watching this channel. I hope. I'm having fun doing it. It doesn't much matter. Uh, let's just breeze through beverages because I do need some Coca-Cola. I've narrowed down my sugar consumption. However, Coca-Cola has been my go-to set aside my sweet tooth and or keep me awake when needed various juices so these this particular would be 32 satang or no i'm sorry yeah 32 oh i'm still working on that it's very frustrating at times i do know that 100 satangs equal one bot so that a satang would be the equivalent of a penny back in the states there's times i'm uh i get my money messed up you gotta watch that if you go out and have a few but i will say this why another wide variety of juices i'm gonna let these people do their work in peace and move on i do need water although i'm not going to lug it through the store now this is what i was going to say i was going to say that the times that I've messed up my money and I started walking away from my was from bar girls to the 7-eleven clerk to oh there was at least three or four places all of those Thai people came after me to give me my money back because I walked away from change very honest people like I said from bar girls to the 7-eleven clerk I did that like maybe three or four times and I hope not to do it anymore We all learn by mistakes, and apparently it was a mistake that paid itself off. As you can see, there's a clothing section. I mean, really, it isn't very much, too much different than uh, Walmart back home or the Target. I'm going to skip that. I'm going to go back to groceries because there's more more there i'm gonna go right down the middle of the store so you get this side like i said homewares you know toys furniture that's pretty pretty bad he is looking office chair for four thousand nine hundred and ninety baht you do the math i'm numerically dyslexic so i'm gonna allow you to do that yourself i just don't have the time and neither do you <laughs> all right this is I'm bored so this is where I come to get my groceries and that's considered business and I'm 
I'm glad I came early though, that's for sure, because I don't like running up, I'm a high stepper, I don't like running up on people. I'm gonna take my time and capitalize on the lack of people here right now. And the back side or the front side, if you will, their little clothing department. Ah, uh, there's that detergent again. Why not? Let's go through cosmetics. May entertain the female following I may have. Olay, I do recall when I was married, seeing that product around the house or ponds. Sweetie recipe, tomato juice, tomato mass sheet. I can see cucumber, but I don't know about a tomato on my face. I don't know what half the things women use back in the States. I'm completely lost. I'm pretty sure it's all the same. I do need some cream. Preventing an aging from the sun. <laughs> Again, too weighty of a product to be hauling around now. Lotions and creams and powders. And just all that stuff that you need to either maintain your existing beauty or enhance it. I am going to need shaving cream and razors. I was told that razors are exceptionally expensive. I don't know. Because to be honest with you, I buy my razors at the dollar store, which is no longer a dollar. But I don't know what you can see for those who buy a higher end disposable. But again, I was told by US and UK standards, they're exceptionally well, not exceptionally, but significantly higher than they would be anywhere else. Oh, it looks like some cheap Gillette. Yeah, yellow ones. I remember those from way back in the day. Or Bix, I should say. Oh, Bix or Gillette. 46. Thing. Again, I'm not sure on the denomination. Let's get out of here. I want to go back to some food section. Here's where you check out Captain Obvious. Toilet tissues and toilet paper, very much like you would see back home. Specialty coffees. I don't know if this is in preparation for Valentine's Day with the red. Are they pushing the season? Or are they just gift baskets they offer all the time? All their instant coffees. Some instant beverages of some sort. Quaker, I've seen, that's something you would see back in the States. All kinds of instant coffees. Here's some familiarity. Cocoa Pops, Frosties, Fruit Loops, Corn Flakes, and Granolas, and Teas, and Jams and Peanut Butters. Coco like Nutella, everybody loves hello. Carnation milk. Here we go. Some seaweed. Original flavor. Had no idea there was any others until now. Here we go. They're big on that. Seaweed sheets. Here we are with the snack section of all kinds. Lays from home. Anybody down for some squid? I'm not. Okay, let's hang this back up and get out of here. What else? Crispy squid snack. There's more squid. Very interesting. Crispy squid spicy. Mitchy. Extra long. Squid. Interesting, interesting. And a continuation of all these prepackaged chips and snacks of various kinds. 
Again, squid. I'm guessing squid. Squid is very, very big. Nuts. Pretty straightforward. If this is their kooky version of uh, Pringles. It's, oh, that's weighty. No, that's nuts. He looks like a cool dude. I saw pistachios and I walked away. Just like Lay's, you just can't have one. More nuts and snacks and juices and pops. What on earth? Preserve plum. There we have it. Here we go, Lay's. Which for your entertainment, I'm gonna have to cut back on because I'm eating too much of those. Roasted seaweed. Pringles. Can't read it, don't know. I'm assuming that it is lemon and chives of some sort. Hot, hot and spicy, sweet flavored Pringles. Sweet mayo cheese. Very interesting. Stacks. Seafood XO sauce flavor, spicy lobster. All right, I am gonna need some Coke. Again, upon exit, I shall get that. Although I'm kind of jonesing for a, for a Coca-Cola right now. Better watch that. Like I said, that's a bad habit, but gotta stay awake. Gotta satisfy the sweet tooth. I think giving up sugar was and has been harder than nicotine. I ain't no kidding. Not like I excessively ate a lot of sugary products, but I am a sucker for baked goods. Pocky sticks. Look at that little big old. There we go. You really like the say hello with papiro. Although I will say that's the largest selection of Pocky and or Pocky-like competitive brand Pocky stick flavors. Pretz. I think this is about the only Pocky you ever see. A red box of chocolate. I guess that would be their typical flavor. <coughs> Excuse me. Some type of children's do-it-yourself <coughs> mold candy maker. Which I'm assuming comes with these put-it-together little things as a as an extra dividend in buying that particular product higher end chocolate now I'm not a big chocolate fan however do when I do indulge I do like dark chocolate mm -mm -mm. mystery box got my attention mystery box of what hello in the box. We will never know. I'm not being that adventurous today. Type of different cookies. Cocoa pie. Various snacks. Cookies, cakes, and pies. And crackers. I did see their version of Oreos, but it's by the way that girl's working. I'm not going to bother her. I'm guessing this is yogurt. Let's continue on with snacks. Get this over with. go. Dairy products. And ice cream. I had some ice cream on my one of my Air Korea flights. Those are interesting. Little push-up ice creams. Melon ice bar, that sounds intriguing. More 
dairy products. Now that, see, I'm a sucker for this. And I try to stay away from the flavored milks, chocolate and strawberry. I have it in some time, but I am a sucker for those. Yes, I have drink pink milk. I bought some of these the other day. They're very tasty. If you want my opinion, and I don't want to gross anybody out by it, because it really doesn't sound that appealing, but it tastes as if like a watered-down yogurt, if you will. But tasty, really. It's a little bit of a thick consistency. Big C happy price. Like Walmart's always falling prices. Imitation crab sticks. I do like those. The real and imitation. This is what I've been living off of. They're actually very tasty. I know processed prepackaged food isn't always the best for you but I will say back in the states uh, this is just those are slop I'm sorry to say they are these are very for prepackaged meals these are very very tasty and it's just enough for lunch and if you got a bigger appetite you just eat two for dinner and you can throw in a little bit of variety instead of the same one something else that I tried these are very good those are very very good same brand I tried had that one the other day very good so I guess ice is the thing here in Thailand my hotel is a hotel and residence they don't offer um, ice not too many places manufacture it those that do I think it's probably expensive to and I'll show you at the end of this aisle with the largest amount of ice that you can buy at one time. That's the way of putting it. I should say this is the largest that they offer it in. It's this size right here. That's it. I guess you buy more than one, but that's that's the standard amount that one is offered when looking for a bag of ice. Oh, we're almost going down ice cream again. Frozen pizzas. Again, nothing too different than you would see back at home, just somebody else's brand. And frozen vegetables, so on and so forth. Impulse items put at the end of the aisles, very much like America. If you wanted to hand pick your own salmon or tuna filet, you'd step right back over here. That fresh tuna is beautiful. Never had mackerel steak, fresh Norwegian salmon, trout, fresh Canadian salmon. Like I said you just get your tongues, pick it out. Man, I'd really like to get one of those fresh tuna fillets. That is a beautiful cut. Little sausages, and cold cuts, I believe. I did buy some salami, or what I thought would be salami. Here it is, from like back at home, and I didn't didn't care for it too much. It was like a very greasy. Well, this is, this is a Thai German something, you know. but it was very greasy. It, it just it didn't taste. These sausages are very popular here. They offer them for breakfast where I'm staying, although I have not sampled one yet. There is cold cuts. Specialty cheeses, so on and so forth. I love Gouda, especially smoked Gouda. Mm -mm -mm. Olives, not in a jar, but in a bag. And I love stuffed olives. I love black olives and stuffed olives. These aren't stuffed, but. These are very good. Parmesan. Fondue products. Cheese, cheese, more cheese. I believe I'm going to go over to that home section. So I got a little time. And if you do, I appreciate you hanging out with me.
just bad memories I don't want to get into. Electronic section here at the Big C Extra. Again, why extra? Because I'm a little extra. What does the TV cost in Thailand? Let's compare prices. We don't imagine there's too much of a difference. This particular Samsung is $16,490. So that is around $500, give or take. And I would say a TV of that size is probably about what it would cost back at home. Very nice display, that is for certain. Holy smokes. That is a great picture on that particular TV. Wow, beautiful. Not a big TV, and although I have a TV at my place, and I would say that in between jaunting around and doing my thing, I have enjoyed watching TV on occasion. And it's very interesting watching Asian TV. Here's their, all their appliances. Washing machines and refrigerators and dryers. Now, I don't know why, but washing machines, should you want to wash and laundry your clothes, are more available than dryers. I think because people hang their laundry, which I've witnessed more often. Like I said, pretty straightforward homewares. Not too much different, nothing. I did notice this the other day, and that's all these bicycles. And I don't know what bike sales are in this particular area or Thailand as a whole, but I have not seen too many people on bicycles. And I'll tell you one thing, I would not drive a bike in this town because compared to scooters and cars, I think if you were not used to being on the other side of the road and not used to a high volume traffic, you are gonna get hurt and or killed. No, seriously. It is no joking matter the way the traffic is around here. I found, and this sounds like it makes zero sense, but if you step out in the traffic and you find yourself like cars coming from, cars and scooters coming at you from every which direction, my best advice is to actually stop where you are because the people who reside here are probably far more skilled in navigating around you than you would be to try to dart or bolt or you make a move. Stand still, wait for traffic to clear. I truly believe that people will move out of your, out of your way if you stand still. I have, and I, the best thing to do is just freeze. Freeze, stand in place, let them move around you, and they will, because they're on their way to go somewhere and they all seem to be in a hurry doing it. And uh, that's that. Am I telling you that's how you should do it? Well work for me it may work for you but definitely not panicking because you can if you're not used to the traffic signals or the way traffic's flowing not familiar with your surroundings you could probably get hurt so I think this is the point in the journey where I grab the things that I'm gonna need and get out of here I hope you enjoyed seeing the Big C Extra here in Pattaya City Thailand thanks for watching peace out